Many had anticipated that the Speaker's ruling will give one of the coalition partners, either PNU led by President Kibaki or ODM led by Prime Minister Raila Odinga, an upper hand. But that was not to be as Marende opted to open a window of a seven-day grace period for more consultations. His ruling was cowardly, but as a coward, he's a clever coward because he did not annoy anybody. But when we look at the, that's the surface, when we look at the depth of it, it's very clear that uh, Marende actually ruled in favor of Mwai Kibaki. The first option that the two principals have, and especially the president, is to recall the names so that the process starts afresh. Nguni argues that the speaker's ruling was merely intended to shelve political tension between the coalition partners and the list of the nominees will finally find its way to the floor of the house. But Dr. Olo disagrees. Look at the Parliamentary Committee on Legal and Constitutional Affairs. It has 50-50 representation, ODM, PNU. But the ODM wing of that is split into two, and one side is with Kibaki which means that that particular committee is almost two-thirds controlled by the Kibaki forces. You can rest assured that Honorable Gitobu Imanyara will be up again with the same motion, understanding order number 47, that now a substantive motion is before the House and that the Speaker should make a ruling well, Nguni says it is now crystal clear that the love-hate relationship that binds the two principles has always been of bigger benefit to President Kibaki. Dr. Olo argues that a constitutional crisis is looming if the president does not recede his decision. If his report is tabled in parliament, uh, he has no choice but to allow for the debate to happen. I think the blunder he made was not to make any ruling yesterday. The judiciary in this case should supersede parliament. But let me say that was such a scenario to occur, I believe that ODM would not participate in the voting process. However, they both agree that there is a higher possibility that the president will not meet Prime Minister Ray Lodinga to look for a common ground this is not the first time that the principals have locked horns over the appointments of key state officials. And in all the previous cases, the president has never changed his position. Chris Dairu, Citizen Weekend, Nairobi.